In May 2010, we installed seven rainwater hogs at McKinley Elementary School. The hogs were installed on their sides in a really skinny space between a garden and a demountable classroom. Here's Kat to tell you about the project. Rebuilding Together partnered with the McKinley Grounds Committee to come up with their master vision and a part of that was to have a rainwater collection system within the school grounds. For McKinley this was the rainwater hogs is a perfect fit because of the uh, space constraints here. We've got to maintain access down this two foot passage. Luckily with hogs nine and a half inch width we can do it. We're going to install the hogs by connecting them together above passageway and then lowering them in and you can see there the trench that's going to connect the hogs to the hand pump. I'm a licensed green plumber that uh, I do a lot of rainwater capture, uh, grey water systems and other cool green things for the environment. We're uh, drilling some holes here for a, a rubber sealed grommet to, to go in and connect the two hogs together so that the flow of the water will continue on out. And as we go out over here, we're going to drill through the retaining wall, um, go up the hill to a hand pump for the students to uh, pump the water to their flowers. We try and use our threaded connectors whenever we can, but sometimes we need to use these barbed fittings, in which case to make them really secure, we have these top hat rubber grommets and the barbed fitting simply pushes through the grommet. You need to drill a one inch hole for this fitting. You also need to tape the bungs that block up the original connected fittings. Next step is to bolt the Unistrat to the existing concrete retaining wall, which proved really hard because that concrete was super, super difficult to penetrate. But Jamie did it and then we were ready to lower those tanks in. The school required us to use Again, two levels of filtration, a leaf eater um, debris screen and also a first flush diverter. First flush is a little overkill for garden irrigation application, but we don't want the pump clogging, so we're cool with that. Here you can see the hogs connected hog to hog with those connections, and this is just before we lift them down into their tight little hidey hole. We extend our standard venting system to work with hogs in this orientation. And there's a quick glimpse here of our standard elbow and our extended version vent. Then Jamie creates a thread in the quarter inch wall for the outlet to the pump. Yeah, I gotta bring it back. And here is Kat wow, with her cool. pump. I want to um, thank uh, Kat Sawyer and Rebuilding First. Jamie, Rogers. you know, great job. Thank you for making us even, you know, into our goal of green. And the hogs will make a big difference. McKinley Elementary and Rebuilding Together have done a great job of this native garden and Rainwater Hog is really proud to be associated with them. Thank you McKinley, thank you Rebuilding Together and thank you Jamie Rogers.